So, um, I've been snooping around in the official HIV repositories a little, and uh, I found something interesting that you might be interested in as well, because many people are asking, uh, if you think about HIV video, so you can um, upload your own videos, of course, uh, you can um, have a direct link to a video file, and you can use YouTube, and uh, I think for like half a year you can use uh, Panopto as well, and people are asking for more for OpenCast and um, I don't know what they're called. There, there are so many platforms that where you can host videos, and the thing is, um, yeah, in theory you can add those to H5P. But what people usually try is they have like let's say uh, um, an OpenCast link, which usually is a link to a, a website, and they they copy that, uh, hoping that will work. They copy that into the video um, uh, input field. And um, I think it works because it works for YouTube. Why shouldn't it work for OpenCast? Because it's just a link to a platform and uh, there's no way that H5P can know where to find that video on the platform. And maybe uh, uh, it's not even possible to find the video ID or the, the direct video link because um, the platform disguises that. So um, there sometimes are so-called APIs, application programming interfaces, that you can use to control um, the video. So you have a link to that page, but there's this API that you can use to get the control the video, display it. And um, yeah, there are some services that have that. And one of them is Vimeo. So um, you can already use Vimeo videos because you can get a, a direct link from them if you have a premium account. But they also have... Um, 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 uh, what's it called? Uh, well, an, an API that you can use, and um, uh, the HFV core team is creating, um, yeah, an implementation for HFV Vimeo, and we can already have a look at it. It's not perfect, you will see, and or it's not done yet. I guess it will be perfect, but um, it has some quirks, and we can have a look at. It. I think one quirk can be undone. Um, yeah, but let's let, let's have a look at Vimeo in HFV. So, uh, what I've created here is an HFV column. Um, where we see two Vimeo videos, actually. Um, I just um, found, I just fetched a link and I posted that it's just a normal Vimeo link, not a direct link, and you can um, add that here in that version. And there's are slight differences so for now. So first of all, this one is from a basic account. So you see, this is uh, uh, just a column with, with two videos, basic account on top, premium account at the bottom. And this is how the basic account looks. So it uses the Vimeo interface. So just like you would see the YouTube interface if you added the uh, YouTube video. So there it is, Big Buck Bunny. So that's the video, you can use it. That works perfectly fine. You don't have to, you, the video is hosted on Vimeo. You can just paste the link and you're done. For, for, uh, for the basic account, um, for the premium account, there's at least one glitch. So uh, you don't see it now, but if I hover here, see, okay, I get that, this menu here, but um, there seems to be something missing at the bottom. So uh, my assumption is that um, so far the Vimeo integration um, has a fixed uh, ratio, video ratio, and um, <laughs> that video set has a different ratio. So now stuff at the bottom is, is cut away. So um, actually I, I can't have... I, I can play the video if I just click on it, but I don't have the controls at the bottom, so um, I couldn't use a slider, for example, and uh, change, uh, set the audio uh, volume. So it is running. Uh, you, you can see it now. Oh, you now see it is running. Um, yeah, but yeah, I could pause it, but I can't control it. So I guess um, this one will be fixed. Um, oh, yeah, this is not related to the premium account, but... Um, to the, the um, image ratio. We will have uh, one difference where, where, where it's relevant that um, uh, you can have a basic account and a premium account. So let's have a look at the premium account first in interactive video. This is how it looks here. So again, this works. This is an interactive video and it just, instead of, uh, for example, posting a link to YouTube, I post it, or I uh, use a link to uh, the Vimeo, um, video in a premium account, important to say. So this works. You see, it, it runs and I can use a slider and um, You'll notice so it will jump to that, that position. Like that. So um, that works just fine. Um, I haven't put any any directions in there, but 
it just works. Um, it's also cut off at the bottom, so this will have to be fixed, but apart from that, it is working already in interactive video. Pretty nice. Uh, the thing is, it is on a premium account. So if we have a look at something similar or uh, in the basic account, then you will notice uh, one thing that is ugly, but um, can't be fixed, unfortunately, um, at least that I know of. So uh, you, you already see this is the uh, bunny video that we saw before. And uh, it works as well, I can play it. And uh, I can use a slider to jump, but you will see it, it still has the Vimeo interface and um, it will go away if the video plays. But of course it's kind of redundant to have it. And uh, the, the thing is that the API of Vimeo seems to prevent to remove the controls if you're using the video on a basic account. So um, might be something that people have to live with if they use the uh, the free uh, Vimeo version. So um, I guess it's some, some branding question. So um, yeah, I don't know if you could, if you could use Vimeo just for placing your videos and you wouldn't have no catch, why should people uh, pay for Vimeo? Uh, kind of. So, but that works. Uh, I don't know when this will be released. Um, it seems to be in review. So I guess um, somebody will notice that the videos are cut off and the height needs to be fixed in some way, either by resizing the video or by resizing uh, the, the H5P content itself or the video. So we get some uh, black bars at the sides, for example. Um, yeah, but um, that is coming up soon, I guess. So.